Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. Cotton futures are back on the rise this week as prospects for the 2022 crop continue to dwindle. The USDA's latest crop progress report says just a third of the crop is rated good to excellent half of what it was a year ago. Now that's down four percentage points compared to just last week. Breaking it down by state, in Texas, just 17% is rated good to excellent. It's just 15% in Oklahoma. Conditions, well, they're pretty spotty in different parts of the South and Mid-South as well. And here's why the latest root zone moisture map showing that dryness through the Southern Plains, Nebraska, Kansas, and then into pockets across the South. Now you can see it also is drying out in places like Iowa, Virginia, and along the New England coast. In Louisiana, USDA says more than 70% of the cotton is rated good to excellent. But as Carl Wiggers in This Week with Louisiana Agriculture finds, after a wet start, some dryland fields are in serious need of a drink. Since 1977, there's been cotton on Davis Farm slash Bales and Bushels LLC since 1977 up to 2017. James Davis Jr. is the second generation of his family to grow cotton on this farm. But the markets could not support a cotton crop after 2017. That's when he moved to a mix of soybeans, corn, and milo. That's what he wanted to plant this year also until the wet spring delayed planting his corn. I think I'd rather have early cotton and beans than late corn. Those spring showers kept Davis from fighting back winter weeds. Those weeds are also competing for moisture uh, with that young uh, cotton season. No so moisture. there's no moisture there. Just so gross. we have that weed competition. Uh, it's severely limiting the ability of that cotton plant to get established. That competition would I'm not be so that, damaging if the summer awesome. months would not have been as dry as they've been. We've been severely dry. Uh, I planted some cotton in late May and to date, that cotton has only received around two and a half to three inches of rainfall. None of this cotton is irrigated, so every inch of rainfall matters. The plants still have the potential to do what they need to do, but things need to happen timely on it. They get the right rains at the right time to where we can put the moisture in the bowls. One more factor all crops are dealing with is heat. Davis says with his cotton at this size, a little bit of moisture goes a long way and the plants can take the heat and add fruit. The canopy has gotten to a point to where the ground is shaded and it, whatever moisture it gets, it can conserve it. And when you're just putting that heat down on that cotton, man, it just, it's kind of like a fat boy in the candy store. He getting it in. And that's what the cotton is doing. It's, 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 it's doing what it's doing. It's making bowls and squaring and doing it all. My old daddy would be proud to see this old cotton right here. He'd be proud to see it. This cotton yeah. does need another rain. Until that day comes, Davis is holding on to the one thing that all farmers cling to. One thing that I do know about farmers, and most all of us farmers is, you got to pretty much have faith. It's been the Tensaw Desert up here. In Tensaw Parish, I'm Carl Wiggers for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture.